All right. All right. Hey, guys. What's going on? It's Mike. So I got a box in the mail today. Yeah. A box from CGC. Um, so this is the stuff. Excuse me while I pick my teeth. Um, this is the stuff that I had submitted to CGC back in August. Not, yeah, you heard me right, August. Not, not March, not April, not February, but, but August. Um, August the 19th, to be exact. This is from Terrican, uh, Terrificon. In, uh, at, it was held at Mohegan Sun Casino in Connecticut. <laughs> and... Um, I'm going, and I got a whole bunch of, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books to show you, and uh, a couple loose signatures as well. So I'll start off with the Lucy's, and uh, and we'll go from there. So David Michelini was there, and uh, you guys know him from all of the Venom stories. Every Venom story that was out there is written by David Michelini, and... Um, I was dying to get his autograph. I was going to go put it on my ASM 300. But he had an exclusive deal with CBCS. Not that I hate CBCS. I've got, and I've shown you a shit ton of them. I've got a bunch of CBCS autographs. And I truly, truly enjoy them. But I wasn't going to wait around for them. Just wasn't. Big E's just put a video out from his... Um, New Jersey Comic Con. That was in April. I got two books in that order, too. So I'm, I wasn't going to wait. So I went with CGC and um, for, for all of my submissions. So anyways, David Michelini would sign anything you had um, for free. Uh, one copy uh, a, a per person, not, you know, two or three or whatever. So I chose, uh, I got a couple of them. Uh, I chose Venom. Lethal Protector, number one. And I got signed right there. David Michelini. It's beautiful. Came out really good. What else did I get signed by him? Aha. I got this one here done as well. This one is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 347. I already had it signed by uh, Eric Larson and Randy Emberlin. But I got it right over here as well with uh, David Michelini. So that's beautiful right there. Now I need a raw, not, this is raw, I need a blank, no no autograph copy to go in my box. This one's signed now, so I can't put it in my box. So that was that. Who else did I see? Um, Billy Tucci and uh, Paul Mounts was there. I don't know if you guys saw the Great Legends uh, video like a while ago. Um, I sent him a copy of this, and uh, he did a fantastic job. Um, you know, said too many kind words. But I um, just want to show you my copy of it. This is uh, The Child is Born. It's signed right here. It's got Mary and Joseph on here. And uh, Billy Tucci and Paul Mounts. Uh, Greg Horn. I met Greg Horn. And I got a few books signed by him. Um, I got one of them is uh, slabbed. I've given a few of them away. And I got another one on the wall. It's way over there. I just don't feel like reaching for it. Um, it's an Electra book. But uh, here's um, Electra number one, Marvel Knights. And I got it signed right there. He always goes into the box. Unless you tell him differently. But that's really cool. Uh, I got Electra number four. Right there. And uh, the Yankees are winning right now, 3-0 over the A's. There's nothing better than Red Sox-Yankees playoffs, so I'm actually rooting for the Yanks. Um, Marvel Knights, number number 8, Greg Horn. So, those are my Greg Horns. Um, I actually got a, if I can, it's over there. Hold on a second. All right, so when you go see Greg Horn, his, he's got like two or three long tables. And he's selling prints, 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 prints. So I saw this one up there, and I was like, I got to have this one. So this was uh, Princess Leia, Jabba the Hutt, and a Gamorrean guard, and a little Sarlacc, what, Sarlacc crumb or something like that. But uh, yeah, he, got, he signed it right here for me. And uh, it's beautiful. It's a big-ass print, too. Look how big this thing is. This thing's huge. But yeah, it's pretty sexy. Really cool. Uh, Leia's got some cool tattoos on here. Um, right over on, his, on her pelvic area. Uh, 
It says, pet my Wookiee. And it's got a tattoo that says, rebel scum. Another one that says, uh, daddy never loved me. So, kind of funny. If you get ever, so check out Greg Horn's uh, artwork and uh, his prints over there. So, cool. So, that's that. So, let's get on to the, um, the slabs that I have. Um, no particular order. Um, I over already opened everything. I'm just going to grab them and show them to you. I'll, I'll try to cover the grade so you don't know. This one here, um, Captain America Annual Number 8. We all love this cover by Mike Zek and John Beatty. And um, it, no, don't worry about the grade. The grade is insignificant, really. It's an 8.0. But I had Rubenstein sign it right there. I got Mike Sack in the bottom and um, John B.D. over there. If you guys aren't using these Sharpie paint pens, this is what it looks like when it comes out. I mean, these things pop like crazy. Um, I highly recommend them. They come in blue. They come in red. Um, you can get them in black. You can get them in yellow. Purple. Pink. I haven't tried pink yet. Even white for a nice black cover. Uh, I haven't tried that one out either. But they are beautiful. Right now, this one's my favorite. This uh, aqua blue one right here. You can do aqua blue. Yeah, here it is. Or you can do like a navy blue. Really cool. So check that out one more time. We've got an 8.0 on that. Not a big deal. But it's just about the autographs and how they pop out there. Love that book. Next one I got. Yeah, here's another one of that aqua blue again. Um, ASM 252. I got this one here. It's a 9.2. It is a direct edition. And I got uh, Roger Stern. I got Brett Breeding. And I got Ron Friends up top there. So very happy with that. Flare's pretty bad. And uh, beautiful. Probably my two favorites. Talked about Greg Horn earlier. And uh, this one here is from the Comic Mint. So they must have uh, commissioned him to do their cover. And this is Amazing Spider-Man number one. This is a 9.8. Signed over here in the red. Look how cool that came out. Beautiful. 9.8. Very nice. Um, this is an older one. Um, I had this one. I've showed you guys before. AG Surfer had gotten Zek on this one and Zek Remark, but I didn't have Beatty. Um, I used the wrong pen. I should have used, I should have used this one, but I used this one because it was in my hand. Anyways, um, it's still really cool. It came out nice. This is Secret Wars number 8. It's a 9.4. It's got the Zek remark of Venom. It's got Zek down here. You can see this in the darker blue. And then you got BD over here in the light blue. Let's put it on this side. Maybe that works better. So, cool to have that one. 9.4. Um, Frank Cho was also there. And I got this off. Oh, this is great. This one really pops. I had a, I was, you know, debating on what color I should use to sign it and where to place it. I think I did a good job. I think I picked it out um, the perfect spot for it. And I think I used the right color. But this is, um, what the hell is it? I can't even see. The Ultimates 3, Issue 3, the variant edition. And Yankees just scored another one. It's 4 nothing, And now it's 5 nothing. So that game's over. Uh, this is signed by Frank Cho. Came back at a 9.6. And right there, Frank Cho's autograph, right on the cape of Scarlet Witch. What a beautiful looking cover. Very nice. Very happy with that one. Um, and this one here, I won off a Great Legends live auction. Won it off of Jeremy. And um, I was like, yeah, fuck it. Why not send it? 
get it taken care of, submit it. Came back a nice high grade of 8.5. And I got um, John Beatty, Mike Zek on there as well. So very cool to have that. I forgot, before I get into the last one, two, three books, um, I want to show you this last thing. Um, I had this, you know, I guess it's a commission, but it's not submitted. I had, um, I took this Superman 47, the white wedding album, and I kind of turned it into the red wedding. Um, but anyways, I had um, Brett Breeding color in the Superman's S, okay, right there. And it came out really cool, and he signed it right here down here, Brett Breeding. But then I put on here uh, Roger Stern, Jerry Ordway, David Michelini, Joe Rubenstein, Ron Friends, Jose Garcia Lopez, Bob McLeod, and, um, and Barry Kitson right here. So these were the guys that were at this show that worked on this book. So now it is kind of like a red wedding. Um, I think it looks cool. I debated whether or not to do the signatures in blue, you know, to give it that Superman feel, but very cool. And now the last one, two, three, oh, four books. Um, Davis Comic Finds, we all know him. He wanted to get a submission done, so I did that for him. He gave me his ASM 252. He already knows the grade, so I'm not going to worry about covering it up. Um, but we also got uh, Stern's Breeding and front Run Friends on this. He's got a nice newsstand. He's got a nice 9.2. And I didn't have his book pressed because it came. He sent it to me in a uh, PGX 9.2. So interesting. Um, was a 9.2. Now it's a 9.2. Now it's just worth more as a CGC 9.2 and worth more because it's got those three awesome signatures. <laughs> AG Surfer, he wanted to send me some books, absolutely, so this one is, yeah, we'll start with this one first, so he sent me the Silver Surfer number 34, which I believe is the return of Thanos, so look at that, yeah, came out beautiful, so he got Ron Lim, and um, Sterling, Jim Sterling on down here. And he got a nice little fat 9-2. Beautiful. But the thing is, I don't know if you guys can see this on the um, the grader, on the notes over here. And in the headline, they wrote Silver Surfer Volume 3, number 44. And it's the same tag that they would normally use. Um, first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos, Drax appearance. Uh, direct edition, Tiger, Electronics, Insert. Well, this is not number 44. Four. This is number 34, so I'm not too sure what I should do with this. Um, AG said just send it to him and he would take care of it. I don't know if since it's on my account, maybe I should contact them. But anyways, we were talking about 44, and yes, he did get a number 44 as well. So he's got two different books with the same label because they are the same grade, which is interesting. Um, I wonder... Yeah, the back's the same, so it's not like they put two labels in by accident. Uh, so he's got Sterling, and uh, he's got Lim right there. So that was it for my signatures. The last one I did was a, like I said, I wanted to get Michelini on my 300, but I wasn't going to wait for uh, CBCS, so I went with CGC. I sent this book off, <coughs> excuse me, I sent this book off years ago to James O'Brien, that was like my first um, pressing video that I ever did. And um, I said, fuck it, let's do it again. Let's get it pressed one more time to see what can happen. And uh, there was still some noticeable defects from, you know, not, James did a great job. Erod took it to the next level. Absolutely. Huge shout out. If you guys are on the East Coast, um, Mid Central, wherever. Send it over to Erod, contact him, give him a, give him a holla, um, and um, he'll definitely hook you up. All right. So here's my ASM 300. 
I got a 9.4. It's a new stand edition. I think it's beautiful. So happy to have this right now. Um, now I need a raw one to go in my box. This one I can sell maybe now. I'll go up on the, uh, I'll go up on my shelf, on my Spidey shelf, my slabs up there. Um, very, very, very excited. You know, so hopefully the Venom movie does well, which I guess it's not really gonna. But anyways, it's still a beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, first Venom, as we all know. And uh, very happy to have it. So that's what I'm starting to do now. I'm not really buying a whole bunch of stuff. And I want to um, start submitting the majority of my ASM keys. Send them over to Erod first, of course. Get them pressed. Get them nice and flat like a pancake. And, uh, and then just, you know, put them in the slabs. I think they look great in the slabs. And, uh, you know, for future future stuff it's just easier to deal with when it's a, when a book is a slab so that's it that is my mohegan sun terrific con terrific con you know terrific con. oh i also ran into um otto the grotto from uh three men in the basement over there it was cool meeting him and uh, he had a lord's a long box t-shirt on so i remember he was in line at cgc and i took a picture of that t-shirt um, stealth mode, and I sent it over to TiVo on Facebook, and he thought that was hilarious, so cool meeting him, so anyways, that is my submissions, my my unboxings, so do you want to do anything else, what do you want to talk about, um, this book right here, oh, terrible, and um, ooh, I can't wait to dig into this one right here, this one's going to be pretty sweet, I think, Sam Keith, you got the Max, you got Batman, and uh, cover of the week, at least the cover of the week that I could get, because everything else was sold out the time I got there. But this thing's gorgeous. Look at this fucking thing. Look at that. Wow. Excited to have that one. It almost reminds me of this Clayton Crane one right here. Just a little bit, you know. You get the Clayton Crane. You get this one here. So. All right. Seriously, that's it. That's that's all I'm going to do right now. Uh, good luck to you know. Good luck to the Yankees, I guess, for tonight. Because it's going to be awesome come Friday night. And uh, New York Comic Con, hopefully everyone has a great time. And I did. I sent a couple books out. And uh, we'll see what happens with those. You know, no promises were ever given. No or no, uh, no promises were ever expected either. So um, I got a Natalie Sanders. I got two Natalie Sanders. And I have a, a Clayton Crane. Um... And a Anadi Granov. So it should be pretty sweet. Alright guys. Till really until next time. I'll talk to you all later.